everybody, what's going on? It's Chris from C's Crazy Crossroads coming at you once again, Triple C for short. Like I promised the other night, my buddy Rich is here from, De from I was going to say his last name. I won't say his last name, I'll let him da tell Vinci you Da Vinci Boas. Da Vinci Boas, one of the top boa breeders in the world, not just in Florida, in the world. He's friggin' amazing. But I told you I'd be bringing him to you. Here he is. We're going to go through some of his collection. This area here where I'm at is sort of like uh, the Bat Cave. Not too many people get to come out here. It's a privilege for me to be here. Um, Rich is known for, for a lot of first uh, morphs in the world. First ever designs ever created or done right here. I mean, he's got some snakes that he's selling for like 3,500. He's even got some for over $10,000 and we're gonna show those snakes to you today. Is that about right? Yeah. You, you wanna tell him a little bit about yourself? Been doing this my whole life. Um, got into it when I was younger. Um, just kind of fell into it, got lucky reputation grew from there and and now I'm just I'm one of the better breeders one of the bigger breeders and um, I breed for quality quality is no accident in my business and the one thing that that I love about rich well two things he's an awesome guy I mean he when I started out with snakes just recently I didn't know him from Adam and he took me under his wing he was just just one of those good people I don't surround myself with uh, with any anything else other than good people the other thing is, is he really cares about the snakes. I mean, if he has a snake that, that has an issue, he'll do everything he has to do to make sure that that snake's okay, because these are a creation from God. Um, it's not just a business to him, and that's one thing I really love. Absolutely. So we're gonna take you around, show you some snakes. We'll get into some of the, the we're gonna do the babies first. Yeah, and we're then gonna the, do the babies and the juveniles, and then I'll take you in the adult room. There you go, maybe he can get bit. That would be pretty cool too, so we'll it see It basically puts a project further than what normal people can put it. Right. Right. So, for example, if you were to buy this snake, you're going to pay a lot of money for it, but it's also going to put you in a better position when this animal is ready to breed. Right. You're going to be able to recreate this along with something else. The cool thing about more genes what we just right. looked at is that isn't something that Rich just did this year. That takes no. several, several years, years to do. It took me to get to that because you have to breed the normals, get the hats, take the hats, raise them up for four years, then you get the double hats, and then you have these. Um, it, it, it's. It's a six to nine year project on a lot of the combo morphs that I'm producing. And you've been doing this for over 20 years, 20 right? 20 years, yeah. 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 Solid. And Rich is 22, so he started yeah. really young. So So this is a Sun Glow Central American IMG, but she's also 100% head type 2 annery. Uh, she's the only one on the planet of her, of her kind. I have a couple males and I have a couple other combo morphs from that pairing. Right. But she's the only one that I'm, I'm probably going to hang on to because of her, her rarity. Um, and then we actually produced the whole point of this litter was to get the hats so I can produce the snows and the moon glows in four years. Can you uh, can you give a quick explanation on on the hat? Heterozygous means both parents have to carry the trait to produce it, or a visual and a hat can produce it. That's right. Um, it, it's a recessive trait. So what's going to happen is is this animal is going to be bred to another type two and you'll get type two snows and type two anaries along with the, the albino has to be included too. So we accidentally produced one of these, which oh, okay. this guy's, this is, she shouldn't have been produced in the litter and I didn't know the father had the genes, this but this is, is incredible. a, this is a moon glow CA uh, type two IMG. You don't even know how special this snake is guys. This is incredible. <clears throat> this snake, probably would have been left for dead if it wasn't for rich yeah i had to save her she was born with her uh her sack outside of her body which is her yolk sack um i had to cut the yolk sack i had to to basically glue the uh the stomach back together so she would survive and so earlier, she was born dead rich saved that snake and it didn't matter what it was he would have saved it if it was this is the first one i normal. saved i saved another one a couple months ago and I actually had to super glue his belly together. Um, and this is the one you've been force feeding for a while, right? No, actually I had to force feed him once and he's been eating on his own ever since. Oh, he's, see, he's beautiful. So I had to take him, I had to basically super glue his belly together because his, his insides were outside. <clears throat> um, he's smaller than his siblings, of course, but right. he's doing fine. Just to show in comparison, can, can uh, you grab one of his siblings sure, just to sure. show the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just to see that this this poor guy went through some hell, you can see the difference in size. Yeah, he's much thicker. His head's a little bit bigger because this guy was able to eat right off the bat, use his muscles to constrict, whereas this guy had to be force-fed a couple times. 
and it just goes to show you muscle tone and muscles you know it does a lot for for live animals i'd say she's he's probably a good four to six inches longer too right yeah yeah i'd say just under half the size difference yeah it's incredible come on bite me check him out oh, oh let's see if we can get rich bit that's that makes for good tv it looked like it was gonna bite me beautiful all right, guys, stuff so we're man. gonna move up to that those were pretty much like all the hatchlings that he's just recently had or not all of them some of them uh how many snakes do you have all together just under 600 the last time i counted Please and it's it. probably going to increase a little bit more with the baby season and stuff like that. That's that's an easy number for me and my son and, and Cassie to take care of. Right, right. Um, anything above that's just it's a chore. Yeah. Right now we're keeping everything clean. We have everything healthy. It's. I don't know how I have uh, I have thirteen. What do I have? Thirteen or fourteen? Yeah. And it's, I don't know how he does it, yeah. but hey, this is his life. This is his job. Um, Seven so, days a week. Yeah. We're gonna get into some stuff that uh, is is probably my favorite it's the IMG uh, morph and uh, the morphs how I learned about morphs is if you think of it as the paint job of the snake yes it's a little easier um, but the IMG is the increased melanistic right gene gene IMG stands for increased melanin gene so they're dark they're, they're like, born kind of dark a little bit normal and then as they age and progress they get really dark dark compared to a normal yeah and then at a year old is this uh pissy yeah he's pissy so but he'll get a couple little bit of but you'll get to there. see a really cool comparison yeah look at that that's just incredible so the the older they get the darker the they'll darker get. they get and you can see how that just i don't know hopefully the yeah. camera picks it, it should up, pick it up it just it's incredible how it just glistens you start putting cool stuff into them um you start getting combinations oh, like this God. the red tails yeah not the red tails, your locales, but these are red tail IMGs. And we call them red tail IMGs because the father that I produced years ago is producing all red tails. So what is the what is the uh, genes that you mixed into this? To this get? is a hypo IMG, 100% head platinum T positive. That's awesome. So the platinum gene has a lot to play with these guys. Here's another cool combo I did. He's another world's first um, to date still. So this is a uh, IMG, Motley, Sun Glow, 100% head blood. And he's a platinum as well, both parents. This is platinum. basically, it's, it's called a super garnet. So this is a Sun Glow IMG platinum, T positive, but he's a double dose of the hypo gene. Oh, okay. So that's where the super comes in. He sees super hypo garnet is what he is. And he has, does he have IMG? He is a visual IMG. Okay, yeah, correct. you could see yeah. all the speckles. Yeah. I think the dead giveaway is on the head, right? With the yeah, this is just a single dose of hypo. He has two two doses of hypo. She has a single dose of Oh, yeah, of you hypo. can see how she's just more yeah. contrasting. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Brother By the way, Rich has some cool-ass merchandise, too. He just hooked me up with this shirt. Thank you again. So you can buy all that. Uh, you know, his, uh, his Facebook page is where you can go and get everything. And also, um, if you want to purchase any of Rich's stuff, you can get it on Morph Market, right? And also Facebook. Yeah, I have a lot of animals on Morph Market. Uh, we're working with the Facebook uh, right now, along with the, the business pages, Da Vinci Boa. We post stuff there regularly, as well as Morph Market. And you can call me anytime. We have t-shirts, tumblers, pop sockets, uh, hooks. I mean, you name it, we have it. We, we're, work, we're working on a new rack system line right now. It's going to be Da Vinci Racks. Yeah. Um, they're going to be debuted at the Tampa Repticon next weekend. So keep yes. an eye out for those. June. So June 8th, Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay Repticon. Uh, June 8th and 9th, and right? 9th, correct. And I'll be there on the 8th. I'm going to probably be hanging out with Rich uh, most of the day. Um, so come on down, check it out. Uh, also, if you guys see all the cool little stickers I have on the back of my, my Jeep, this is the guy right here. Yep, we have Just all that stuff cool available stuff. at the show. And this we'll is have a, a, a new morph we're well. working with. It's called the Chimera. Um, it really hasn't been proven yet. We're, we're still working on the project. We've had it for a few years. We've got a couple girls that are getting ready to be of size and to breed next season. Mm -hmm. um, you really can't compare them to anything. I mean, they're they're kind of their own their own creation. Yeah, yeah. Outside, um, of, outside of the color, right? I mean, you really yeah. Can't. She's super pretty. Yeah. Um, and they're most of them are fully striped. We do have some that don't have full stripes on them, but we're trying to figure that gene out. We're just trying to work on it before we release it and say, hey, 
you know, we have this. We just want to know what we I'm have. All right, here's another creation. Right. Uh, I didn't do this. A buddy of mine did this, but I bought the first pair from them. And these are called the Super Krakens. And a lot of people like them. I've done a lot of videos on them at the Daytona shows, but not a lot of people have got to see them in, get to see them in person. And a lot of people think they're photoshopped, but they're not. So Chris will explain to you how they're not photoshopped because we're about to pull one out. <laughs> And um, yeah, there's no uh, there's no editing here. Yeah, so this sure. is this is an adult male, um, you know, full grown. This is a super Kraken super sunglow. So his jeans are real, real deep. And then I have a big female next door, yeah, which is his sister, and she produced another world's first last year. Yeah, he'll hey, go right to the camera. To yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's not shy at all. No. But the color of this animal is really, really spectacular. I mean, the banana yellows and the okay, orange. Okay, so I named them Krakens. Um, obviously, I'm a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, Black Pearl Kraken. They have red spots down their side when they're born, and you can see them highlighted here, which reminded me of the uh, Kraken tentacles. Right. And that's right, the reason so I named them the, the Kraken. Uh, this is the 18 and older room right here. You gotta be an yeah, adult Yeah, the bigger they are, the, the more they, they go in the bathroom. Yeah, but this is a, a Paraglow um, head anering. beautiful. Look She's just eyes. hungry. She thinks there's food coming in, maybe. They're always hungry. We feed mm -hmm. them, uh, we feed the adult females once a month. We don't overfeed anything. Um, health is way more important than size with us, like I said. Right. Uh, so our girls only eat once a month. And we feed them good once a month. You know, they'll get, you know, I think she gets two larges once a month. Right. And we got a couple larger girls that get a couple jumbos once a month, but right. we don't feed weekly. We don't feed bi-weekly. Right. Um, you know, the juveniles and the babies, they get fed like that. But the big stuff, you only feed it once a month because they don't move. Right. right. Um, you know, we want more more muscle and, and you know, fat ratios than more I want to show you the anything. fathers that, that produce those litters. And... Um, this is by far one of my yeah, this is the father favorite snakes, guys. This is the black pearl. He was... Uh, God, I love him. Yeah, he's super black. Guys, right? he is so black that he's actually blue. There's yeah. blue tints coming through. Yep. It's just, uh, I just hope that the camera picks up how gorgeous this is. Yeah, these these do really well outside. Like when you when you have the um, the uh, animal outside, they do much better outside because the camera will pick oh, the yeah. father of right, those right. sun glows. And see, I, I, he, he's hmm. a little more aggressive. You can yeah. see how more, you know, touchy he is. He's alert, that's oh, yeah. for sure. He's looking for something. He's looking for rich. Hopefully, he's yeah. over there. Don't worry about me. I'm good. But there's where the red tail comes from. Yeah. And all those babies that I showed you that have those red tails, this is where it comes from. He's the originator of the red tail. Yeah. It's a really cool combo. This is a, a, a Sun Glow inca t positive motley yeah. there's only a couple of these in rotation right now yeah. or in existence believe it or not especially at this age so he's, he's almost ready to breed old. so this season we have lined up uh we have some cool stuff lined up for him mm -hmm. and um we're gonna see what we can do with that and capitalize on this combo the inca is another codom trait that we really really like working with right it's another central american stays real small yep um you know the, the big Colombian stuff. It's it's hard for people to have big cages and feed them big meals and stuff like that. Right. So the Centrals, uh, they're kind of a convenient snake. Everybody right. likes them. You could put them in an apartment. You know, you don't have to have these huge cages for them. And and that's these guys are proven breeders. Uh, you know, multiple times over, and they stay in a visa. So right. this is a full grown Colombian, IMG. You can see the difference in size. Mm -hmm. uh, the Centrals are a little thinner. They're actually they're quite a bit thinner and yeah. they're not as long as she is she's probably about 20 pounds yeah she's ready to and fire. um yeah if she were to bite me it would it would leave a pretty bad situation yeah to be in because she would probably cause stitches and um yeah. a lot of her teeth would probably be removed yeah she's a big girl i don't get bit a lot though yeah i i just i have an idea of what's going on i trust the animals they trust me uh and when i do get bit it's my fault right it's you never see a the snake that likes ever. to talk here she goes. What's up, baby girl? You gonna oh. let me hold you today? Uh huh. I'm gonna stand way back here because this girl is crazy. Yeah. You wouldn't know it. She's nerve. She's nerve wracking. Um. Yeah. So this is a black eyed anery motley. Once again, there's not a lot of these out there. She's a 2011. 
I'm, I'm actually zooming in because... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not getting in um, on that. Yeah, last time Chris was over, she went crazy. Yeah, and, we cleaned uh, her. Tried uh, to kill both of us. We cleaned... I helped Rich clean up in here one day, and... Man, she's just badass. She's she's acting like she's real sweet right now. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's sizing me up is what she's doing. Yeah, rope-a-dope. Yeah, getting that side profile, yeah. man. She just wants to turn on Rich. Yeah. And probably as soon as you put her down, she's going to show. I don't know. She seems pretty cool she right does. now, but I'm just a little nervous with her right now. This isn't an animal that'll no. give you a small bite yet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Here she goes. Uh-huh. What's up, baby girl? We don't want to upset you. No, we don't like to upset them too much, but normally when they're feeding, they, they, they stress out more than anything. Yeah, she's usually so, really huffy. Yeah. yeah. She is beautiful. Yeah. She's such a doll. She is a sweetheart. Awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, everything else is on edge right now, or yeah. is just eaten. Yeah. Like that super kraken she just ate, so she's probably going to be on arms. Yep. Mm, yeah. See her right there? Yeah. Uh huh. What's up, baby girl? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. We're good. <laughs> she's, she's dangerous. Alright, cool. Um, everything else is in shed. My fire is in shed. Yeah. 